Hey, sniggling us back in the house. Now, before we get up to the next version of what Linux for you, which will be Baby Linux, what we've got on the screen now, we're actually going to install it. Yes, install it in VirtualBox, by the way. It's easy to record for me, no problem. Let's just get you the, the feel of it when you're actually installing the distro, okay? So when you first boot up from your live CD or USB, this is what you get. You get this screen here. It's all nicey nice, isn't it? And this comes up to the quick start guide. Now, I'm not going to go through it for you at the moment. I could do. And I couldn't do. I'll tell you what, we'll just open uh, connection to the internet. It basically tells you easily how to connect to the internet using Wi Fi or whatever. So, yeah, that's okay, isn't it? Now, Bodhi uses uh, Midori as his favorite web browser, basically. So, that may not be to your choice, but you can install whatever you like at the end of the day, okay? But what we're here for you tonight to do is install it to your drive, because that's what you want to do, isn't it, really? So, from the live boot, <coughs> You go down here, click on there, or you could have done it from the main screen actually. Applications, and then Preferences, and install Bode Linux. Okay, we click on there. Now, bearing in mind, it's uh, 4:42 p.m. It says. Okay, that's totally wrong. Okay, because it doesn't know what time I'm in. So, now, what language we want? Well, we want English, don't we? So that one's fine. It's highlighted for us, and we click Continue. Okay, that's fine by me. Download updates while installing Bodhi. You may want to do that yourself. Okay, it's up to you. You can click it or unclick it. Install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware, Flash and MP3s and stuff like that. You can click it if you want to. It's entirely up to you. For me, myself, I don't. I just do it manually after the install. It just makes it easier for me personally. Okay, so continue again. And we'll come to the next screen. Decides. Now we want to erase and install Bodhi, don't we? We can erase the entire disk. because we, we don't want to back on there do we we don't want nothing else that's on that disk okay or you could encrypt it if you wanted to we'll use lvm oh choices 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 but if this is your first real install of a linux distribution you just go with the ones it says erase and install you can always come back and do it again another time if you wanted to see it's choice all the time on linux so we're going to install now we click on install now and wait for the screen so that's going to miss x to and swap so that's going to give me around about, I think I'll give it 10 gigs here. I can't remember as a hard drive. That gives me around about six, something like that. Because obviously also give it um, the four gig of RAM. Now what you'll find it will do, if you've got four gig of RAM, it'll also give you four gig of swap, which I found out to my cost when installing my main system a while ago. But anyway, keep it to the defaults because most of you won't have 32 gigabytes of RAM or 64 gigabytes of RAM, will you? At the end of the day, you just say four or eight. So go from there. Or you can do it manually. Entirely up to you, really. We're going to click on Continue. So that's fine by me. So what do you think? Where am I? Well, yeah, that's my time zone. In the middle. GMT. Okay. Continue again. I want the English keyboard. English layout. That's fine. If you've got a different one, so you want to go to the Faroese or Filipino or whatever, you just go to them and click on the one that suits you. Or from the country you're from, or from the language you speak. We click on Continue again. Now I'll put my name in. That's me. And that says because it's got Bodhi 64 there. We don't want to put that in, do we? No, 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 no. So I'm just going to put this in. That's sneaky. That's my computer's name, Sneaky Virtual Box, because we're doing it in the box, okay? This is just for the install. Choose a password. Hmm, what should I choose? I'll choose this one. Yeah, a fair. Okay, that's fair enough. And we're done. Do you want to log in automatically or require your password? I always require my password because I'm just like that. But you can choose whatever you want. And you can also choose to encrypt your home folder if you want to do so. But that will take a bit longer. So now we're going to click on continue. And give it a second. Now it says we're at 10.45 now because it's corrected the time. And we'll see how long it takes us. I reckon it will take us about four or five minutes. So this video might be around about 10 minutes long. I hope not too long. So let's now copy our files over. And you get these intro screens basically as the install goes through. So thank you for choosing Bodhi. We strongly believe in minimalism. Because remember, Bodhi uses Enlightenment for its desktop. Well, it's actually the Moshka desktop. But it's, it's a form of Enlightenment at the end of the day with bits mixed in, really. So it says here, yeah, uses the Moshka desktop, which I just told you. It's just lightweight and beautiful. Yeah. If you really want to give Enlightenment a go, you can install your own version. It's entirely up to you. But this is, if this is your first try, go with this one. Easiest way to add your software is by the App Center. It will come to that in the main video. 
It's an online service. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I knew that, but maybe you didn't. But they also give you Synaptic and apt-get for doing it from the command line, if you wanted. Or Synaptic is a program you can use to do it with. Okay. It's doing a bit of software you can't find in their collection. Oh, there we go. Okay. Documentation. When you booted into Bode, you were greeted with a quick start guide, which I quickly showed you the, the main thing of it, really, didn't I? Parties for Yeah, I'm getting bored now. Okay. So, almost finishing copying files. Okay. So, it's only a couple of minutes. It's not too bad, is it? So, while we're waiting a quick drinkage. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, up on here. If you can't find a solution to an issue you have in our documentation, fear not, we have a very active forum. And that I can say they do. It's a, if you have a problem with Bodhi, go to the forums. I've said you'll probably find the answer in a few minutes or someone will get back to you and give you the answer you need. Anyway, we're going through the install now. Now, if you've come from a different operating system, you know, one from Redmond or somewhere, this will be a bit alien to you. A Linux distro generally installs between 4 and 10 minutes, unlike the one you're used to, which takes ages, okay? Ages and ages and ages. Just retrieving some files from the mirror. Load, load, loads and loads and loads. Come on, hurry up. Bode is a Linux is a not-for-profit organisation, so that's all freebies, okay? So they have a lot of volunteers. You can maintain the distribution by sending us your donation, or a donation. You don't have to pay, but if you think it's that good, give them some cash. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And you can become a Bodhi member, and you can receive some nice Bodhi goodies. Ooh, I might look into that myself. I need some more goodies in my goodie bag. For more information about donations and membership, visit the site. And as you can see, it's just configured my hardware already. Now, we're almost done, so if you're new to Linux, you're going to be saying to yourself, no, that can't be that quick. Well, yeah. This is how quick it is. This is why a lot of us love to use Linux, unless you try Gentoo, of course. But that's another story. Hmm. Well, yeah, installing Gentoo from scratch can take hmm, days, even, you know. But that's another story. We'll come to that another time. Now, do you see that? Is that five minutes? We're done. Okay, we're going to continue testing. But we're basically, actually installed. But all installed and ready to go. So all you do is shut down the machine, reboot, take your disk out, boot up, and you'll be into Bodhi Linux straight away. Isn't that easy? I oh, know. Sneaky. Linux going out. I see you later. Bye-bye.